But listen, I told y'all that everything is content, right? Everything. So right now I'm changing out the keys on my tour pack to match the keys on my bike. So it's annoying to have to deal with so many keys when all I gotta do is deal with just one. So how do you get that done? First of all, you have to go to Harley and they have to run your VIN number and then they match it up and then you order it. It's like 60 something bucks. And then you remove this off the tour pack. There's four screws, one, two, three, four. And those screws is what you take off to remove this from the tour pack, all right? This is the new key and it, it also came with two extra keys. So I'm basically gonna just clean this up right now so you can you know, see the declutter. I'm not gonna need this anymore. I'm not gonna need these. So it's gonna be just that, all right? And let me make sure that they sent me the right one, that the cylinder, it works. Yep. All right, so let's get this thing changed out. So what are we gonna do? First of all, I need to find a size bit that will fit this darn thing. And hopefully, I have it. I'm pretty sure I do, but this is really tiny and tiny and tiny, 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 tiny. So I don't know. All right, let's find out. We got one. Ooh, first try. I did it. All right, so two screws. Two screws, and this thing will come out. Like I said, everything is content, guys. I'm sharing everything with you. Mistakes that I make, the, the, the triumphs, the failures, everything is being shared. Why? Because it's teamwork. Now this is a simple transition, but if you've been thinking about it and you probably felt a little nervous about doing this, I promise you, it ain't nothing to be nervous about. Not with this, not with this. There we go. All right, come on, screw. It's like this darn screw don't wanna come out. All right, be nervous, be nervous. <laughs> this screw is like, I'm stuck and I don't wanna come out. Yeah, I'm gonna get you out, you sucker. Got you out, you sucker. All right, so now, but look at how this is situated. I'm going to aim to match the setup to turn it the way it's already situated so I can put it in the same way. And is there anything else that I'm missing here? Nope. So this, this is going to pull out just like this. I'm going to take it out just like that. And then you're going to replace your cylinder back in its place and make sure that it sits inside the bolt so for you to screw it back in. There we go. So it slid back in its spot and get the screws back in. And then I'm gonna show you the reverse process of what I did to take it off in the first place and how I'll put it back on. I'm not gonna tighten that side down fully yet. Let's get this part handled. It's a simple process, one, two, three. You don't have to pay the dealer. You don't have to pay the dealer a bunch of money to get this done. This car is a little tricky. Maybe I could just use the screwdriver and guide it down. Cause that corner is tricky. There we go. There it is, boom. All right, perfect. Okay, so that's done. Oh man, this thing just stole my bit. Damn criminal. You can't stand when stuff gets stuck inside these screws. They be stealing your, your bits all the time. All right. Now, let's go put that piece on and let's get it done. All right, so this here is gonna go on the outside 
and then you're gonna have the same screws that I took off. So you have four screws, right? And you don't have to use the, the tools right away. You could hand tighten it, or just use a tool to soft tighten it, just to, just to hold it in a spot. That's pretty simple. And then you take the other screw, put it in the top slot, make sure it lines up. I know this is basic stuff and I might not need to have to show this part, but I'm not going to assume that everybody knows this part. So the same way you see me reverse in the process, right? That's the same way you would do to take the thing off, to take off this, this whole entire bolt system. Right, boom. And the head is like a little hex head. It's like a hex connector. Uh, I gotta get this lined up. There we go. You gotta wiggle it. You gotta wiggle it around to get it to line up properly. And remember, this is going into a plastic frame, so it's plastic going through the metal, so you don't have to tighten it for like really tight to break anything, but tight enough to where you can feel some torque. Oh yeah, some good tension. That's good. There we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's give it a test run and make sure that this thing works. All right, so we got this is opened up. It opens it. And let's see what we get. Yep, that locks it. That locks it. Perfect. Perfect. One key, guys. One key. And that opens it. All right? So there you have it. That's what I'm talking about. Simple, simple, simple. I literally just got home from Sudos, hanging out with the fellas, all right? And I decided this thing been sitting down for a while. I got so caught up with the project in the house, in the bathroom, and doing the bathroom over there. I'm like, you know what? Let me just get this part done. The next video, I'm going to show you how I install these pieces on the bike. And I'm going to talk to you about the mistake that I made. That way you don't make the mistake. All right, so leave your comments, subscribe to the channel. This is Donovan Green from Rafit Nation. Remember, we keep things real gully and perfect. No way. Perfection is nothing. It's not even existing. All right, leave your comments, share the video, and let me know if you found this helpful. All right, get your keys set up so you have just one pair of keys. I'm out. Later.